Hello and welcome back to Scrolls. So I've made a few changes to my deck. We just load it up here. You can see I've added another A for pump. Uh, let's see, can I see the new spell I've added? Sort them please. Okay, maybe I can't see it. Um, no. Oh well, that's a pity. I added a couple of new spells to my deck as well since the last time since I've worked out that you can filter like this so didn't I add this oh I didn't actually save it of course so I got uh, this here redesigned switch to attack and health this does damage to unit and everything connected to it for two damage which sounds quite cool I'm adding another aether pump and there was one more spell Blind Rage, target creature does damage to its countdown to all adjacent units. So that sounds pretty good. So we're going to save that as my energy build up. And we're going to today do a quick PvP match with the energy build up deck. So we're going to look for a match and hopefully get one quite soon. There we go, match found. So I haven't done a PvP one yet, so this should be quite fun. Uh, it's been a while since I did my last Scrolls game. Oh, there we go. Uh, it's been a while since I did my last Scrolls game, and that's because I've been away. Alright, let's get rid of the golden skin for energy, and we have Ars Argo. So let's see, there's actually a timer up here now that I'm against someone, so I've got to pay attention. Sacrifice resources. He's an order guy, it's going to be quite interesting. Okay, so we now have General Outcast, we'll get rid of him. And end our turn again. Hopefully, we get something quite cheap soon because order is quite hard to beat if they can get out creatures before you. So, that's what I'm worried about. He's taking his time. Don't know if there's any. Oh, there is a chat feature. That's quite cool. I don't know if I'll actually say anything. If he talks to me, I'll talk back, you know, sort of thing. But he doesn't seem to be doing anything. Sacrifice free resource. There we go. Okay, give me something good, give me something good. Ember bonds. Um, uh, let's get rid of that. So there we go, we're up to three. Because those are good, especially this. Cause that can just take out loads of structures. So <laughs> both of us are still in the build up page. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, I got a good one out. Okay, so Genlock Elder. I'm not too fussed about him since I don't have many gen locks. So let's get him out here. Yeah, and that, that's that bottom row covered. So I can start tagging. Although he'll probably move out the way. That's what I'm expecting. Let's wait for him to make a move. Yeah, there we go. That's what I thought would happen. So that's two damage, yeah. Okay, so he's moved. He's taking his time to think about things. Cross movement. Okay. Come on, bring it. Ooh, divine mark. What's that? When it's destroyed, it's returned to its owner's hand. That's interesting. And when that's. Oh, yeah, it's increased. Now we can get rid of that for now. Okay. And then how much health has he got? He's got too much for me to kill with the Ember Bonds, which I was thinking about using. So we're going to save it for now. Poof. Useless. He's unfortunately going to attack. Can't do anything about it. So I just have to deal with it. This is the one problem about PvP matches. Uh, they are a bit slower because obviously your opponent needs time to think as well as you. So you do have to wait a bit. So... This is probably going to be my last scrolls you're going to see here, unless I maybe uh, do a episode involving my um, growth deck, which I'm going to mix. Ah, there we go, two damage. So if I do that and then put Ember Bonds on it, it should die. Or I could do hmm, Spark on one of these and get rid of them. So let's actually get out the copper automaton this turn because I don't need to worry about killing these just yet I'll just put him behind there to keep him protected for now I can use it to take things out later 
Let's see what he does next. What's that guy? Ooh, that sounds quite painful. We're gonna go on and get rid of him, but he's got six health, so quite a painful one. Okay. So now what I want to do is take care of you just so you're out of the way. Because that's quite a bit of damage you would deal otherwise. We're gonna put this. Actually, we're gonna discard you to draw some cards. So that deals one damage to everything. Yes, yeah, so I can at least take out him. Do a bit of damage to him. I can spark him next turn. So unfortunately, he will get a hit off on my tower. Well, my uh, shrine obelisk thing, whatever they're called. But we'll have to make do. So sacrifice with scroll, same as me. Ooh. He's going to try and take out this. Interesting. Uh, all other creatures you control on the same roll gain one attack. Ah, so he's going to destroy this this turn. Makes sense. Can't do much about that. Wait, push back. Put it back to my hand. <sighs> ah, that's mean. Okay, so we're going to put down my catapult. There, so we can hit those two. Then, if I spark him, he'll go back to his hand. We're going to save that for another turn. He doesn't appear to have many things. So we're going to do that. We're going to get out another. I'm going to get a scatter gunner. Because he doesn't seem to have any structures, so I'm not too worried about that at the moment. Ooh. <laughs> Because um, I have talked to a few friends who play this game as well, and they say the order decks are one of the harder ones to beat, so <laughs> good luck to me. Okay. I don't think it does much. Right, so now I know he can attack this turn, which is why I saved this to get rid of it now. So that's now gone. And do I want to get out another scatter gunner? Yes, I do. And we're going to sacrifice that for resources. <laughs> okay. So we're going to get quite a few attacks this turn, but not much I can do about that, unfortunately. Oh, he's definitely going to try and get that middle one down. Because the problem with these, they most of them buff each other. So oh, he's actually not trying to kill that. Interesting. I'm just interested to see what he does. What's that? Uh, when it's kind of yeah. Ooh. Okay. See, he's already taken one out. So it's fallen behind. Ooh, destroy target unit. So what I could do is just go Shazam. He's gone. Get him up here. He'll be able to shoot him. Yeah, that's about good. I'm going to keep that to play next turn. So they're both on one now. Quite easy to take out if I get the right spell or just move with them. So let's see what he does next. Come on. Ooh. I want to get that one that hits everything in an area, then I can take out both of these. Sacrificed for scrolls. Bet you got something useful. Yep, run those infantry again. Crown of strength. Plus two health, damn it. You do something about that. We just cool down and decrease by one. So I could actually make it so they all attack this turn, but that would make them also able to attack. So for now we're gonna play my automaton. Discard that for cards. I'm gonna let him kill that. And I'm gonna put the plating onto him so he's immune for now. Because we want this guy, he's my big heavy here. Really want him to do some damage. So they can't attack this turn, which is why I didn't bother with Fury. 
Otherwise I'd probably lose that turret as well to this guy. I need to get rid of him really. But I have Bombard, which means these guys will all be able to attack next turn if I want. But I can't move them all up there in one go, which is the only disappointing thing. So I've just got to wait and see what he tries to do. Because he's definitely going for that uh, top row. I need to I need to get that chain spell which you saw me add to my deck at the start of the turn. Hmm, I don't really like that, so let's draw two new cards. Okay. I'm gonna play my tool initiate down here. I'm gonna move him up there. Him to there. Him to there. He'll kill that. He's going to die to him. I can't do anything about that. So we're just going to have to let that go for now. But that's one out of the way at least. Jesus, they can all attack. Ooh, painful, painful. If I can get the double attack thing on this guy, he will destroy these things really easy. Especially since he's at top, so I can just focus these ones down. Hopefully. Let's see what he does. Come on. He's not doing anything at the moment. Hmm. Either strategizing or AFK. I'm hoping for the AFK. Ah. <laughs> oh. So I'm just have to fill a bit of air. Oh, there we go. Sacrifice for scrolls. I'll probably get rid of my. I might actually use that just to give someone some extra attack. Because we have one here and it's pretty much useless. It only has the one attack anyway, so. Five, six. So these are both going to go down to under half health, so that's a real bit of trouble. I'm just going to have to see what he does. Because he's running out of time. I mean, he's going to attack anyway, so. We'll have to see what's that. Target units could have doubled. That guy is just a guy with spiky. Two, one, zero. There he goes. Oof. There this goes. Ouch. So they're both on four. Who has a big cooldown? This guy. Perfect. Shazam. All gone. One move. That's the sort of spell we need. That's what saved us. Right. So now how much health has he got? Perfect. I'll move him to here. Him to here. Play Bombard. We'll take care of him. And you can see in one turn, tables have in one turn, the tables have completely turned around. Excellent. That's the sort of setup I was hoping for. This card is awesome. <laughs> Especially when they set up like that, so I can just go BAM, all dead. That's probably caught him off a bit, being able to take out so many creatures in one go. Glad he had that one right in the middle. So now we've got that one on Walking Stones. All damage dealt to Walking Stones is reduced by one. Fair enough. Deals one damage and draw a scroll. Fair enough. Can't do much about that. But let's see what I get. I need to get this wall down. So if I switch these two round, he'll do full damage to that. And then I can take that out. I what he does. But I've got to keep my eye out on these two as well. Okay, so that's the double fire thing. I need to move him up here. Him down here. Okay, we're going to save. Actually, I'm going to draw some new cards with that. I'm going to get this guy out to help me get down the other walls. Actually, we use him as fodder just to guard that wall. He's not going to be able to attack this turn, so we'll end the turn there. I'll get a hit on that just because. I think he's that that one spell's really caught him off though, which is, I think is very good, very very good for me. So let's see how he tries to recover. Because obviously I was on on the ropes there. You can see these are quite low. But now the tables have turned. Ah, oh, damn, he got rid of it. On 
unfortunate. But I can make this guy just do two attacks to destroy this one. I'm not sure I want to yet. We'll have to see. Okay, oh, I see. He's using. Because he knows that will destroy that. Just as fodder again. This is what I'm worried about. And I could use Concentrated Fire to destroy this. It is tempting, but i got to keep these defended. Target is moved to a random occupied adjacent tile. Interesting. Oh, Pover. <laughs> What's that? What is that? Target units switch places. That's quite a cool spell. Okay, so let me think how I can do this. He's going to attack next turn. If I let him attack, he'll take that down. And then he'll take him out. That's fine. Let's get rid of that to draw some new cards. We're going to move him up because I need him to defend this wall. I could do Concentrated Fire so he'll take both of them out and that'll do damage to the wall. And since I do have two, I am going to do that. And that will just about do it. So he'll take out both of these for me. Oh no, it's reduced to one. Oh, I misread it. I thought it was reduced by one. That was my bad there. Really my bad. I, I've just completely misread it. Units double. Oh, damn it. I was, was going to use this next turn, but if it's doubled, that makes things tricky for me. Because he's probably going to move down. The, yeah. <laughs> like I was just saying, he's going to move down there so he can get to that wall. And if he, I'm unlucky, he'll have something like that. Ah. <laughs> oh. That's quite a good spell for one thing. So you, I've now lost two. I really have to defend this one. Does it have to be an adjacent unit? No. Okay, so I've lost that now. Um, let's draw new cards with that. So I can switch some of his attack and health. So that would give him a lot of attack, but I can't move him, so... Um, for now, let's get the automaton here. And then I could do Bombard to get him to attack. Yes, yeah, so let's move him down here, actually. Cast Bombard, so he'll kill him this turn. He'll kill him. And then that should just about do it for this turn. There's nothing happening. Why is nothing happening? Is this lag? Has someone lagged or something? Okay, I'm just gonna wait and see what happens. I might make a cut here, so I'll be back. Oh, no, there we go. Perfect. Just a bit of lag. We're fine. So there we go, we've got a clear field again. I just need to be able to get attacks before he can get new things out but he's just sacrificed for resources which worries me because that might mean he has something big to get out or a combination of spells Imperial resource draws to scrolls all hiders are healed by one wow okay so let's uh, sacrifice that for cards let's get the ether pump out because that's going to be very useful as well as the automaton then I'm going to use, I can't use Concentrated Fire this turn because I've used too much mana. I'm going to keep plating because that's very useful. And we're just going to whittle these down because now I have a nice lineup. where he has nothing. So let's see what he does now. I wonder what I haven't done if I gave that attack. Oh no, because that would just kill it because it has no because I was thinking about using redesign on it. I might use redesign on this guy to give him free attack. Night Scholar, draw one skull if cooldown is zero. Okay. We well, see he's going for this one now, so it's basically a race to see if I can take this out. So I have two structures at the moment. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, if I use Metal Heart on this guy, he'll be able to do six damage. Great. I'll move him 
down so I can use them as a shield and I will increase the attack. Oh, I only watch some structures. Yeah, it does. Okay, we're not going to bother then. We're going to move him there so he can attack this one. Uh, if I use redesign, it won't help me in any way that I can see. So we're going to use redesign to draw two more cards. Ooh, we got Thunder Surge now. I'm going to put that on something later, but not for now. So for now, we will wrap that up here. He's going to go take that out for me. Good, good. So we're both. I've got him one apiece. I can take that out with him. Which would be quite good. But I'm worried about this. I gotta see what I draw next turn. Okay, I see he's got a wall here. Yeah, he's just building a wall up there. So what I could do. Hmm. I need to get him at the top so I could double attack both, but let's think. Oh he's got that general guy again. Okay, so let's get you for cards so I can see what I get. Okay, so if I use Thunder Siege here, they'll all take two damage. Then I could put Ember Bonds on one of them. But that does take a lot of mana just for two damage. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put a useless contraption here, put a catapult here, put plating on him, move him down there, him to there, and go. So now we've got a lot more defense. That will do one damage to everything next turn. Which is very good. It's working as intended. It's going to be close, I think. Because I've got these two quite low, whereas these two are quite high. So we just got to see what happens. Because if needed, I can move him there. I'll take that out. I can use double fire to kill that one. Ooh, I think he's moving up to defend here. So that could be interesting. Got to see what he tries. Come on. Come on. This is one problem with PvP games, as I said. Do have to wait a bit. He's plotting and scheming, sacrificing for scrolls. Okay. Got another one of those general guys. They're really cheap for what they are, really. He's about to run out of time, but Jesus Christ, he's properly buffed this area up. Okay. I might have to use this now. Because I'm looking at it. If they all take two damage, if we do it to this guy, these will all take two damage. That will kill him. Him, him. Those two damage to. Because that might hit all of them. If that hits all of them, that will work fine. So, yeah, it's highlighting them all, so. Let's risk it. Zap! <laughs> That's severely weak to him. That will do. Two. Okay, That's fine. I'm trying to see if I can take anything out. Move him to there because then the Aether Pump will help me take him out. Then. We'll switch. We'll leave that guy. Actually, we'll, no. I'll burn him next turn. So I'll leave him to do this. So let's rid of that one. That goes. Oh no, only two damage. I did my maths wrong. I gotta love when you get these big spells out. Because that just hit everyone. 
but I am still concerned. If he doesn't redefend this point, I can concentrate fire to destroy this one. But if he reinforces this point, I may be in a bit of trouble. Not too worried about this one, but we have to see. Like I said, I can still burn through this guy if needed. Okay, we've just got to wait a bit, see what he does. Hopefully nothing to push back. Oh! Damn, that's annoying. That's a wrench in the works. Because now I don't have, I can either burn him or I can have enough to play something next turn. Right. Tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Hmm. And I could put em em bonds on this guy. I could burn that guy. Should deal with those for those. Never mind. We're going to burn that guy then. Because he's too big a risk at this point. We're going to turn you into energy. We're going to burn you. Another cannon automaton. Uh, we're going to put ember bonds on no one for now. Actually, no, we're going to put it on this guy. So I can get one of these out next time and have a bit of leftover energy. Like I said, it's getting close. Getting close. In total, we have about the same amount of health on our totems and obelisks, so I we'll just have to see how the last few rounds go. Because if I can get both of these out, I'm going to be in a very strong place, but I don't know what he's going to do in the meantime. So let's. Okay, moving up to there, not surprising. But now I have to really defend this one again, because he's obviously focusing up here, as am I. But if I can get a cannon guy down here. Concentrate fire and get. It's a risk. It's a risk. Okay. Draw some new cards with that. Okay, we're going to use that to. him to draw some new cards next turn. We'll put him there for now. Um, he's not going to be able to do anything. But I'm going to be able to get that off next turn. Let's move you down to here. Because then I can get that down to 7. Just let me know. We're doing well, we're doing well. Good opponent, I'll give him that. So that's down to 5. Let's see how this goes. He's now gonna blitz through here probably, so that's gonna kill that. <laughs> yep, he's won with that. <laughs> with that spell, I think so. Ah, he's got me. <laughs> yeah, because now he's gonna kill that, and then he's just gonna finish off my turn. Hats off to this guy, that was a good game. <laughs> and then just to be sure, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's definitely over now. Well played, well played. Still got uh, quite a nice amount of gold for that. So let's leave the game. So yeah, that's how PvP works. I'm going to leave it here, buy some more scrolls, work on a new deck that I'm going to try. So I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Doodles.